Are you entrusting your secrets to chatbots? Think again. In the recent months, over 50 chatbots were hacked, with hackers gaining full access, stealing API keys, and even eavesdropping on unsuspecting users. If you've been interacting with chatbots or sharing personal information through them, there's a chance your data could have fallen into the wrong hands. Join us in this video as we uncover the culprits behind these breaches and reveal how these chatbots were compromised. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest insights in cybersecurity. This information was first disclosed publicly by two security enthusiasts at Black Hat Asia 2024. Dong Lu, a first-year PhD student and CDF player whose passion lies in artificial intelligence security, and Liu Kang, an assistant professor at the University of New South Wales, whose expertise focuses on software testing and cybersecurity. Before we carry on, some of you might ask, what is LLM? LLM stands for Large Language Model, which is a type of artificial intelligence program that uses deep learning to perform natural language processing tasks. LLMs are typically trained on large amounts of data and are designed to understand and generate text like a human. Their team looked into LLM integrated frameworks that consist of toolkits or abstractions to easily interact with LLMs for various tasks and LLM integrated applications, which are applications that were built upon LLM integrated framework, but allow users to interact with these frameworks and model across natural languages. There are already many attack strategies and techniques that are being exploited right now in the public, and we want to highlight a few of the common ones here first. The first is jailbreaking. Jailbreaking represents a specialized attack directed at LLMs, involving the strategic construction of prompt sequences that make LLMs violate their internal safeguards, resulting in the generation of unexpected or harmful content. The second is prompt leaking, which refers to a specialized attack that asks the model to show its own system prompt so that the attacker can further understand the logic and implementation of the LLM and develop targeted exploits with the new information. The third is prompt injection, which refers to the process of overwriting original instructions in the prompt with specially crafted user input. This often occurs when untrusted input is used as part of the prompt. In fact, there are already publicly available tools, such as PromptMap on GitHub, that accelerates the progress of such exploitation to bypass LLM security and safeguards. When Tang Lu, Liu Kang, and their team was looking into the weaknesses in LLM integrated systems, they identified a problem that allowed hackers to obtain remote code execution on such models, and at the time of their research, there was no suitable solution that could feasibly tackle the issue at hand. The reason for this is because the attacker can manipulate LLM's output via specially crafted prompts that allow them to execute malicious codes directly on the system and give themselves direct and full access to the whole system. One motivating example is the PalChain framework, where it allows users to execute the LLM-generated code without any checks at all. With this, prompt injections would lead to code injection instead. The team analyzed eight LLM frameworks in total, and out of these eight LLM frameworks, 44 call chains were extracted. 37 of them allowed remote code execution, 15 types of vulnerabilities were discovered, and 11 CVEs were assigned to their discoveries as of April 2024. This is where it gets really interesting. Now, how do we actually exploit these LLM integrated frameworks and applications? Their team designed a workflow to identify the problem at hand, exploit LLM integrated frameworks and applications, and filter false positives and false negatives. First, they would conduct the basic usage test to test for basic usage, like simple calculation and print. This is a sample prompt example that you can use to conduct this test. Next, they would conduct the hallucination test to confirm the existence of code execution capabilities and mitigating interferences can be caused by LLM hallucination. This is a sample prompt example that you can use to conduct this test. After that, they would conduct the RCE test without escape to directly confirm the existence of any RCE vulnerabilities without escape techniques. Here is a sample prompt example that you can use to conduct this test. Following that, they would conduct the RCE test with escape, where the goal is to try to get rid of the system prompts constraints 
and break the safety and moderation mechanisms on LLM frameworks and applications to allow attackers to bypass these limitations and generate the desired outputs. Attackers typically utilize the prompt leaking technique here to try and get the LLM application to generate the prompt it was designed to produce internally by the developer and then capitalize on that information to develop a customized prompt that would bypass all of the restrictions that were set in place. The network access test will then be conducted to evaluate the exploitability level and cause hazards, such as limited remote code execution capabilities or a full remote code execution possibility. This sample prompt was used in practice to conduct some of the network access tests. And finally, the backdoor test will be conducted to test whether the LLM application can download the backdoor or reverse shell and run it on the system directly. These prompts serve as a template that you can reference to test for backdoor vulnerabilities in LLM applications. There are many LLM frameworks and models that were tested, and the team analyzed 51 testing candidates. And after applying their testing approach, they identified that 17 out of the 51 were vulnerable to SQL injections or remote code execution vulnerabilities. 14 out of 16 of them suffer from reverse shell vulnerability, and four of them also contain privilege escalation vulnerabilities that further allowed attackers to achieve the highest privilege user in the system. Now, what could happen if it was a real threat actor that compromised these LLM applications instead of security researchers? Could you imagine the potential impact of such dangers? A thorough hazard analysis was ran on this campaign, and the affected objects can be divided into two categories. Or these vulnerabilities identified on LLM frameworks and applications can either affect the application host directly or be extended to affect other benign application users. So, what can attackers do after they successfully obtain remote code execution on these LLM frameworks or applications? Firstly, they can steal sensitive data, such as OpenAI's API key, since most of the LLM framework and applications store their API keys in the source code of environment variables itself. They would also be able to steal proprietary intellectual property, such as the LLM framework or application source code, and other sensitive information, such as AWS private keys or SSH keys that are stored on the host. Secondly, it could also allow them to escalate their privileges through SUID exploitation or kernel exploitation to gain full control of the host and repurpose the host for malicious purposes, such as scripted mining using the application host resources, for example. Lastly, backdoors can be planted in the server to allow attackers free access into the system anytime they want to and do whatever they want with these compromised hosts. And now, how can exploiting these vulnerable LM frameworks and applications affect other benign application users? The first scenario involves recording sensitive data silently, such as user-provided data and user-uploaded files. Attackers can modify the source code within the LLM application to steal user-uploaded files, which often contain sensitive information, and also modify certain prompts or features to request for sensitive data from unsuspecting users, such as their API keys or their personal details. Most users would not doubt the integrity of such LLM applications, and in most cases, unsuspecting users would simply provide the information requested, thinking that it is a required information for the LLM application to work. Attackers can also modify the LLM application into a phishing application silently. Scary, isn't it? Since most users trust the LLM application that they use without question, Attackers can modify the source code of vulnerable LLM applications to entice unsuspecting users to download malware into their computers and run it as instructed by the compromised LLM application. Most users would open any file or run any code that was produced by LLM applications, especially when they do not have a thorough understanding of the dangers of LLM applications. In such cases, attackers would gain direct access to these victims' hosts after they run the malicious executables and payloads on their personal computer, giving attackers full control through their command and control server. The rapid deployment and integration of LLM into applications, particularly chatbots, has introduced significant security concerns. Last year alone, hundreds of new chatbots powered by LLM frameworks were released into the market. These technologies, while impressive, 
often harbor vulnerabilities that can pose serious risks. Many users tend to trust these LLM applications implicitly, accepting their outputs without questioning the underlying processes or the data they are trained on. This blind trust can be exploited by attackers who may manipulate these models to disseminate misinformation, perform phishing attacks, or even propagate malware. As LLMs become more pervasive in our digital interactions, the potential for such exploits grows, threatening not just individual users, but entire systems reliant on these technologies. Do you still trust artificial intelligence or your favorite chatbot? The safety of your digital world might be at stake. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to dive deeper into the shadowy world of hacking and exploitation. Stay informed and stay safe.